guys, welcome to Tweak of the Week. And this is a tweak that's really basically for Divi Framework users, but it can be helpful for other users as well. And it's quite an advanced technique, but it's basically to deal with local storage. So Divi uses local storage to store information about each module. And sometimes you need to clear that out. If you update any of our modules, you'll need to clear that out. And if you get them from any third party as well, things like the six column tools and things like that that are available out there, well, you're likely going to have to also be careful whenever you're loading an update to make sure the module data is cleared out. So this data is held locally in the browser. So to get that, we go up to the developer tools. I'm using Chrome. You'd use whichever developer tools it is that you happen to be using. And you take a look at under local storage here. Within the local storage, you should have a domain name there. And that domain name will have the information there that you've got all the different Divi modules. Now those Divi modules are being stored locally. And what we wanna do is clear them out. And once we clear them out, they'll be reloaded off the server. Just make sure you clear your cache on the server as well, because sometimes you know you might get a cache there. But basically all we do is say local storage dot clear and boom, that's it. The data's emptied out. I refresh my page. And now if I happen to have any modules or anything like that that were updated, those new features will be available. And that availability will then mean that you get the new features inside of it because all these scripts are updated inside the local storage. So I hope that helps you. I hope that is clear about what Divi uses for local storage and why it does it. And I hope that helps you in debugging any errors you get around using Divi modules. I'll see you next week.